Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Positive Glass F1 2019 career mode. We are here today with episode number 89, and we have had the most successful start I have ever had to a career mode, ever. Um, we have had ourselves three wins out of three, ladies and gentlemen, but the cars around us are getting better, but so are we. We are miles clear of everybody. There is nobody near us now. We still have our chassis to improve, as you will see here. We are about to improve over McLaren, who had a big, big jump in that department. We will just see the overall R&D tree before we progress. Uh, progress. And Ferrari made an improvement. Uh, Toro also made an improvement. In fact, a lot of cars below have made vast improvements. As you know, we have ourselves a wet qualifying here, so I'm gonna go and stick on the dry setup because I don't wanna have to fuck around over the qualifying for the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. I'll be available to chat. <laughs> That's that PMS, bitches! Uh, right, so we've got two views already, guys. Thank you very much for tuning in this evening. We have ourselves Redman watching, we've got Rufio watching, we've got Testy Snow, but whilst I've seen you, Mama, thank you very much for watching again. And of course, Bishop in the chat. Fantastic. Or in the comment, in the, in the viewer list over to Crofty and Anthony Davison for the Baku qualifying report. Fucking kill me now. Oh, okay. Welcome to qualifying here in Azerbaijan. Interesting. I've got the best car. We've got ourselves a big lead in the championship. As soon as this is finished, finished, I'm going back on my WWE career mode. Get a few more rest of the matches out of the way. It's all too easy to spin them up coming out on chapter 13 now on that. Another seven chapters to go. Spectators, as we love to see a car driven beyond its limits, but it's not going to result in a great long run pace. Here we go then. Got a couple of new games. I've got a um, Halo Master Chief collection, which I'm going to be rocking. I I'm not sure if you could do co ops on there, but we'll work it out. Right, okay. Right. Easy, easy getting out. Okay, not a problem. Uh, we're going to go and roll with this one. Lance Stroll has just left the garage, I believe. So we've, well, Lance is looking rather, rather rapid, as it seems. We have a tar in front of me, and the rain is inbound, so we've got to be very quick. Okay. If it rains, we're out of quality. I need to get my lap in before oh, Jesus Christ the braking. I love my brake pressure now, now that we've got improved brakes, so that's nice to see. You can see I'm struggling with the brake pressure. It's braking too early. This is the problem I have with the racing point, it's just this car was much better handling, of course, than the no point racing. I want to get going on my flying lap before the rain hits, so that's gonna be an interesting one. Come on. I'm going to... Oh, I can't have the tire pressures, can I? Fuck. Um, wait for the flicker. The clouds. It is coming. You can sense it. The mixed bag in practice was fastest, of course, but... Not the most convincing performance. Uh, we're going to go to overtake now. On the ERS, I think, if we can get through... This lap here, oh god, the car felt a bit loose there, but that's because of the low downforce. Well, we've got no hindrance on our flyer. Beautiful braking. Career through. I want to get through the castle before the rain drops. Better lap time than what I did in practice. It's already, you could feel the car wanting to give out. A bit early on the brakes there. Inside curb there, flick round to the right and get back on overtake. Look like a very strong lap time this. Um, 
that curb there, ride it very nicely. Power out Castle, this is a key part of the track for me. The corner that made me famous. <laughs> Here we go. Really want to get onto the start finish straight past that point and the rain hasn't landed yet. And it has, oh my god, it's absolutely pluming down. Yes, it has landed. We need to get through this part here, have a slow in lap. We're starting on whatever tyre we want to, which is nice. Bit of seven. I would think we're going to be a bit slower than that, but we'll have a try. Nine, eight, seven, six. Swan's beating me here. Beaten for the first time in qualifying, 0.059 behind, but the rain has landed, so whoever's set laps now. Norris behind their best lap time is a one yeah, we're a second quicker than anybody else. Oh, well, out. that's not ideal. Magnuson behind their best lap time is a one minute 36.0. Some points in Baku would be rather pleasant. I've never scored in this career mode around Baku. This car, it's looking highly probable that we will. Tight, we're looking good. Um, I think it's going to be good for a softer, medium, or softer, hard run, you'd imagine. as well last all day around here it's just about the maneuverability of the tires and the feel for the car on the hards around here and Perez goes P4 so these are your usual suspects the next lap invalidated. I think I might have a speeding in the pit lane penalty as well. No, it didn't. Um, so apparently I've got an invalidated lap time for crossing the fucking line. We have done what we need to do. Stroll beats me. Okay. I'll skip this session. No one else will improve. You can imagine no one else will beat us. So we sit in a comfortable P2 with no one else really going to do a lap here. Now, saying that, Kvyat is... Hmm, guys who haven't set their times yet. Vettel is only just through. Verstappen is pretty much out there. Gasly's gone in the Ferrari. Weber's... Both Ferraris out in Q1. Because it's now intermediates. Kelsey went for the mediums. He's absolutely done. Jockey says, all right, pause man. Hashtag PMS. I fucking replicate that to you, my man. Both Ferraris eliminated and both Renaults go through. Okay, interesting. But we are going to be running on the intermediate tyres now. Um, massive gaps back. Um, both Ferraris out for the first ever time in Q1. I've never seen that happen before. It's going to be... A rather intriguing race here, guys. Not going to be resetting components here. I'll be lucky to make it through this qualifying session. Um, we seem to be having some software issues oh. at the moment. Sit tight for a few minutes while we reboot some things, okay? Mm-hmm. Well, there goes one run gone. Um... <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um, some glitch times in here, then. Got on track. 10 minutes 56 to go. We will be driving out of the pits, of course. Good performance, Jockey, from you tonight. Finally got yourself a decent result. 
perfect end to the pre-season for you, matey. Good old P4. That's how you do it, mate. We've got a couple of really, really good new debutants as well tonight. Very clean races. I'm loving it when you get when you find gem diamonds in the rough. No point racing coming through. So hopefully I can keep up my winning. I don't think I'm going to win this Grand Prix. I've got to be honest with you. I don't think I've got enough in me. We'll all be able to start on whatever time we want, though. So I'm going to have to look at the timing. I know that a one-stop is going to be possible. A one-stop probably from softs to hards is the way I'm thinking. The racing points will be going softs to mediums. don't know what Stroll's going to do. He's looking all mighty, Lance, at the moment. If he stays as my teammate after Baku, because, of course, driver changes can happen in race four. After race four, should we say. I'm going to back right off here. There's a lot of cars. I'll be right in my line of sight. Stroll's the first guy round, if I'm correct. No one's set a timed lap as of yet. I think, no, I think Bottas has, hasn't he? Let's have a look at the race director. Oh, they have. They have actually set time lapse. Okay. Um, now we're going to be comfortable. Yep, so I think that is the Renault of Giovinazzi who set a time. So let's see if we can go and beat them two at least. Right. Not ideal. That is going to cause issues. All right. This could be murder. Bishop. Hashtag PMS baby. So we do. Max start Red Bull pretty much in Paris. Just coming to the pits in front of me, okay. No pole position here. Bottas has set himself a glitch lap time. He is not the quickest in the wet, I'm assuring you now. Oh, I will go to my teammate and the racing points and the McLarens, of course, who managed to get themselves a respite and both get through to Q3. Or Q2, sorry, forgive me. Anybody who's new to the channel, guys, be sure to drop a follow. Nobody won the £5 gift card as well tonight. Need to check if that is a thing as well. <laughs> Making a fucking promise for giveaway, they can't find the fucking code. I'm nine temps off. I am not making it through, guys, on this setup. I think I may just bin this off. Yeah, my, I, my ties are fucked. I think I may start 20th, you know? Get some more components for later in the season. Oh, is not designed, the setup is not designed for wet conditions, so as we are learning. <laughs> Plus the AI has sweat buckets in this condition. So if I get through to Q3, though, be worth having a go. This is, I've got two runs here. Ooh, low, 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 at the curb, and bang! Wing damage. <laughs> kind of expected that, so we'll just snake through here. P15 it is, guys. I'm going to take fresh components, I believe. And that is my qualifying over. My form in the wet is absolutely awful. That's my qualifying over. That's intensely disappointing. Struggles in qualifying continue for me. That's two non-Q3 makes. Yeah, man, you guys really, really put on a show in tonight's race, I tell you. Really fun to watch. So that is qualifying over, ladies and gentlemen. That's annoying. I can sense disappointment. I knew it would be a struggle. But we'll wait and see, see how the race goes. Uh, the Renaults are very high up, so it'll be intrigued to see how they do. Yeah, just skip there. There's no point going back out. We've 
I know I'm not going to improve. <laughs> so many clutch lap times, it's ridiculous. Look at that. How is the Mercedes 1.1 seconds quicker in the final sector? It's a fuck off. But out of the two Haas cars, the two Renaults and me. That's pretty much obvious. So both Mercedes get through. With me missing out, the Toro Rossos both go through as well. And the Alfa Romeo of Danny Kvyat sneaks it through after his teammate Devon Butler got knocked out in Q1. So we'll be taking the component reset, guys, once again. Disappointing not to make it through to Q3, but it is what it is. We just basically keep our... No, it didn't. Uh, it's all my own fault. Are you hoping to have your reliability issues sorted out before Bob... I say no to that. No to that. Well, thanks anyway. Not fucking up my reputation within the team. Absolutely not. I do that anyway on track. Uh, <laughs> so yes, ladies and gentlemen, we are here this evening. Oh, there's Adam Dude doing some F1 2019 on Twitch. Fair play, mate. Our reserve driver. So here we go, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be doing a quick part reset, go for a quick smoke, and then I will be proceeding with the uh, Azerbaijan Baku Grand Prix. Not the qualifying we hoped for. As soon as the rain came out, I knew I was going to struggle, but not that much. That was pitiful, really. Um, when the rain came out in China, I smashed it, but it is what it is, unfortunately. Um, Strollers are way behind me in the, in the reckoning. So we are going to be at the back. We have to pick our moments. Do what we did last season, basically, or last race, should I say? Toro Rosso, or Williams improved. Actually, Ferrari, McLaren do drop off me a little bit. Well done. That was a good qualifying performance. I'm going to take a full part reset. Take penalties. Why not? Get myself that as well. Oh, it's only 14% of the match. Right, guys, give me two minutes. I'm going to leave you with this season's current standings and results. These are, well, a spoiler there for you. Uh, back in two.
Second race in a row, starting from the back, guys. Let's go. The Azerbaijan Grand Prix has been very unkind to me in the past four years. Hopefully, hopefully, I can change it around here. The thing is, if I get damage, we move on. Over to Crofty and Anthony Davison. Here comes Baku in the dry. And a warm welcome to you from Azadlik Square, heart of Baku and home, of course, to the Azerbaijan Grand Prix. With high speed Which, of course, is deserted at the moment, of course, due to the horrible world condition at the moment. I can't wait for everything to go back to normal. Well, as normal as it can. Baku City Circuit measures roughly six kilometers and is made up of 20 corners and two DRS zones. The circuit winds it's a very square track, isn't it? Through the old town and even brushes against the city's medieval walls. However, as beautiful as the setting is, this track is also a ferocious technical challenge where the smallest of mistakes could lead to catastrophic consequences for all of our drivers. Anthony Davidson joins me again for the race today. Can I get your take on Haas? We have a number of changes to the dynamic regulations this year, and the signs haven't looked good for them so far in terms of getting... Haas, Leclerc's done all right. It it's myself so leading from the McLaren drivers who will get a bit of a jump on us today. Well, I suspect they may need a few late nights at the factory to get back on track. Stroll's not really put, pulled his weight so far. It's not at a podium Stroll this season. Hopefully he can bag one here. Vettel got him on the last lap around China. Mercedes aren't very good, so they're going to be holding the field up at this track, you'd imagine. We have Perez. Perez and Stroll, very nice. Come on, hashtag PS, bitches! Let's do this shit. <coughs> Champion of last season came last in qualifying. What the fuck has happened to this crew? It wasn't because of the wet, of course, but... Keep your eyes open on the run to turn one and keep it clean. Yep. You want to come out in one piece? Good luck. Uh, two laps of fuel. Let's do this. I know my strategy. I'm going to just roll it. Yep, 35 place square penalty, so I'm starting somewhere back there. <laughs> Front rows are taking off now. Chill. I spun, of course, three times in the last formation lap I did. Devin Butler actually did. Oh, Butler had a. Did he have a penalty? Oh, Butler went out in Q1. Bloody hell, Butler's all the way down here. Butler and Weber both out in Q1. How times change. Butler was, of course, grabbing. He grabbed his maiden victory last season, of course, in the Toro Rosso. Moved, a move to Alpha hasn't been too fruitful so far. Kivya, of course, bagged the cheeky Q3. To literally just take my time. I'm going to keep that differential at 70 for now. If that's too much of a ball ache. Back to 55 on the front brake bias. Not my strongest track at all. I want points today. So look at the race director. Everybody's going to be on the mediums, you'd imagine. Yep, there you go. The entire field on mediums. So this is basically going to have to be 19 cars overtaken. That's going to be tricky. Get ready, guys, to clip anything funny, shit, incredible that you see. See some clips on this channel. We've got a couple of apps. We've got a saucy overtaking back barring that we record, I've got a recording of. Working all eight gears. Guys, okay, so I'm just going to go and put my tablet on charge. It's on 5% at the moment, guys, so I won't be available until the first round of pit stops. So, guys, anybody new to the channel? People have a look, just see. Any names you don't recognise, guys, be sure to encourage the follow. I'll be doing it all the way through myself as well. Oh shit, sorry, that's a bit of a oh, my crackles back. Oh how I've missed you. Don't 
so he's hitting it very nicely. Let me start, sorry guys, forgive me, P20. I'd love to have a nice quiet race. I just pick off the old person here and there, get myself into points, which I'm known capable of. <clears throat> Any wing damage, I'm just going to absolutely obliterate around on the medium tyres. Or the hards, maybe. So I'm the last car to form up, guys. Five red lights. Horse cock building. In the background, and we get a fucking brilliant start. <laughs> Well, that's a bit of a... Oh, 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 Ferrari there, just on the outside of us. We're just going to pull inside him. Try and force it on the outside, follow that Haas car. Oh, he's put me in the wall. <laughs> Fucking brilliant, what a surprise. Fucking George Russell. Okay. All right, okay. Block him, run through. I'll lunge it. Still come through. I'm going to see how the car feels. I know. Oh, that's absolutely my fault there. Sorry, Ricardo. That is on me. That was a silly bit of driving by myself. Car's feeling okay. Oh, oh, hello. Car's feeling bad. I'm going to. Car oh, will feel awful. It's complex. If I can keep up with Weber. Okay, that's a good start. Well, I've been pushing to the wall, so... Not as you wish, Jeff. Still handling pretty well. Let's see how it's going through the tough, tight, twisty parts. Gee, that's still up in P13 at the moment. Epic, epic drive by him. We're going to pit in anyway. Points are going to be insanely difficult to come by now. The car feels fine, but not good enough, so... Guys, I want to have a fresh race, so and a clean race as well. So all the mediums. So guys, Baku probably should have waited behind Russell, but he moved and let me Complete. Go now. have a go. See how quick I can catch back up the field. No, so I'm not disappointed at all. I know the car has pace, so it's just about 60 diff. 17-2. Okay, let's see what I can do about that. Just exited the castle section now, so we're a whole sector, pretty much half a sector behind the cars in front. We're doing my practice tomorrow for Spain. That'll be tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, after Pete's race. We are officially in lockdown now in Britain. We're in our house anyway. Life doesn't really change, you just gotta adapt to it. And Sergio Perez and Strottel, fastest lap. So can Jesus Christ we're flying. Five. We've put about two seconds on them in two sectors, right? Okay. I anticipate doing that, and we've got a bit of a spaced out gap as well, so. Clear Giovinazzi. I can clear this guy somehow before the pit stop, that'll be brilliant. 
My race is effectively over for the win. We're not after the win anymore, I want points. Oh, damage limitation now, guys, for us. And the Mercedes up front is really ideal right now. We don't want that fucking Sergio Perez taking off. We want clean driving. Crashing the bus stop, we just put in for that. And we go to the end. And hope. <laughs> hope we get a safety car. So Russell is battling with Ricardo. Those two are locked interlocked at the moment. The Ferraris are absolutely in no man's land at the moment. Again. Stroll is trying to enter the podium position, but the McLaren's done him, so everybody's locked into battles at the moment. I didn't even see that gap. Let's have a little look. And I put in a 40. Jesus Christ, I'm four seconds a lot quicker. Stroll has fallen into the mid-pack here, or into the... Oh, Perez has got through. Okay, that's going to be a racing point victory then. That's my tyre wear. Good. Tyre wear's good. I could drive that. Might go from mediums to softs. That'll be somewhat of a turn for the bucks, wouldn't it? Um, tell me to pick up 13. So you want to 17 if I'm really, really brave and really careful. That's 8.9 up to Russell now. I'm going to catch him before the end of lap six, you'd imagine. I'm probably on lap five if I'm incredibly good around the castle. I'm susceptible to crash. No rage in here for me, guys. Like I said, I fully expect to lose a wing or two. It's me. <laughs> nope, I'm not going to overtake yet. The Babakas are battling, so I can just literally use my own prowess to be able to overtake them. Huge battling up front. Check back out to my teammate. We're our teammate by 24. 24. Okay. Zero Let's put stuff apart. Yeah, then I'll upset. Oh, I can see them there actually. We finally caught a vision of a car. Clamp the wall then, that wouldn't be ideal. <laughs> Passing in a dream drive to catch back up, but it is what it is. We have to get past these guys as well now. I'll be able to breeze past the bottom th two teams. The Ferraris are kind of in that sort of mould where I was last season at the end, where I was just fighting and flocking around that midfield pack. Oh, fucking hell. Struggling slightly. That's just me struggling, not the car. It's absolutely all on me. This is my ability that is lacking around this track. The car is absolutely sensational. It's a championship winning car, undoubtedly, until the other, the main heavy hitters can pull it together later in the season. That's where we've got to take all the points where we can. We've got, like, we've got Spain coming up. I know for a fact one stop down there is an absolute godsend. And my pace around there's pretty good as well. Former race winner of Spain, my first Grand Prix victory. Some 42 races ago. I can literally see the guys in front now. Four point two. Four point two again. 1.6 seconds quicker than Lance, so we are gonna, we are making inroads very slowly, but I need to take my time overtaking these guys, no rushing. We sit in high RS now. Could go like medium actually.
No, he's going to... We've already lost something on Russell once, so let's just have a little bit of a chill behind him. Yeah, just deliberately going wide. That's good. That's no worries there. Took us five laps to get, well, four laps in the end to get to the back of this train. That's how bad the bat markers are right now. I'd not like to be in that Williams. Bat will be a fucking boat to drive. Renault have become a perennial bat marker team. I'd love to do another career mode after this, but I'm heavily focused on this career mode. Got him. Effortless. Oh, lost the back end. Is that going to lose me DRS here? Extra power. This should be an absolute meat and potato food and drink bread and water. Oh, my good lord. Oh, my good lord. Holy moly. See you later, kid. Like he was fucking parked. Hold the accelerate down, clip the curb, beautiful. On to Carlos Science, P18, right, the comeback begins. Okay, here we go. Think beautiful. It's gonna pick when it tells me. Uh, there's no point fucking around. We're trailing our teammate by 22. Yeah, we're just in the zone of chilling at the moment behind Lance. We are the same. Struggle to fifth. Nice. So he's still following that McLaren round. Right, well, I'm just disposing of the back because we've all been in this position before, guys. Everybody who plays this game, you know, you're in a quicker car at some point and you fuck up. It's my own fuck up. I should have waited. Like, I would have been comfortably with him, but chose to make a stupid move. Russell gave me the moot room, and I just thought, you know what, I'm going to have a little go here. Ooh. It's going to be a double overtake on the straight if I'm very, very careful. I'm going to crank it to overtake. Now! <laughs> here we go. Let's go on the outside here of Gio. That's one. Nice move. That's two. Let's go and catch Lucas Weber. The gap to the car ahead is 3.6 seconds. He's doubled the RS, but oh my god, Giovinazzi had a little go at Sainz as well. Both of the Renaults and the Williams are now battling. Gives the Renaults something to fight for. The end result is points for me. That's where I'm aiming at. Just driving by myself now. We're just going to nail that. Yep, that's 2.9 to Vable. Let's see how much time we're catching him by. I'm assuming a lot, guys, but you never know. I'm going to go and charge both of my daughters and my partner's tablets up after this. Come on, let's see what the gap is to Vapor. I think I should be near him on lap nine, maybe, hopefully. Okay, time is still looking good, Nick. Let's keep them that way for as long as we can. Gap to teammate ahead is 20.3 seconds. Yeah, now we're away from traffic. See, I could probably do a medium to soft here, but I don't know how good soft tyres are. 
Now we're going to breeze past Vapor. We just got to keep it very nice and nice and calm and collective to make it to P15 here. I don't know who's going out of the race. Hopefully not me, which would be rather injustice, really. Rear tyres getting trapped to shit. That's exactly what Jeff said. The rear tyres are the first ones to go. I'm tempted just to go onto the hards just to see. Look at the top three gone at the moment. Podium's out of the question. So the podium streak is over, barring miracles. <coughs> Points is my aim. If I get the top ten, that is a fantastic achievement. The car is better than all the others around me, but that's not the point. Oh, dear. Watch the wear here. Watch the wear on the rears. Do not want to drop out the RS of Weber. It's going to make another lap of chasing him. I can't afford that. So I think it's the fastest lap of the race. 39.7. Good effort by Max. Can't be quicker than me. I mean, Weber slipstream. You can just hear a Jaws theme tune starting here, ladies. Oh my god. Jesus. Poor motherfucker. Like he wasn't even there. There's my rival dealt with P15. Right, Gasly time. Right. We're not going to high RS here. I'll keep it on high for a lap or probably a lap. It's taking a perfect drive and then that's when the race is going to get interesting after we come past the Gasly. I'm early on the brakes there, that's not ideal. We're trailing our teammate by 18 .8 to 18. I'm flying, but I'm just... There's not enough time, really. It's probably been fantastic. He's out of the podium battle. But luckily, it's a racing point leading. Oh, it's a McLaren second. Are you fucking kidding me? This is damage limitation. The fuck this is? Pit stops are going to start next lap. Do I make the first move? I'm going to make the first move here. I'm going to make the first move. Fuck it. No one's pitting. Let's get an undercut. Belting along here. If I get DRS, I'll stay out. I didn't. Right. Okay. Let's get going, folks. Go, go, go. I'm going to fall to the back. Hopefully, I don't get impeded by these guys at all. To last. McLaren DNF would be rather nice right now, to be fair. Stroll and Vettel having a bit of a battle. So we're going to the end, of course. Hards feel fucking beautiful. Absolutely beautiful on this car. They always do. These guys are on heavily worn mediums by now as well. Their tyres are going to be in the 30s or 40 region. I'm literally just sitting on about 1% where I should have pitted in early for these. Nice relax here. I'm dropped a medium ERS. Standard fuel. Which makes some fuel. I have a little bit of a breeze here. Oh. Oh, 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 hello. We're going to go on the outside. Oh, Jesus Christ, maybe not. Ricardo squeezes me. Oh, my God. Ooh, break, 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 break. Oh, Lord. That was death-defying. I see the braking. Powered out. Let's see if I can, ca Let's see if I can get Russell here. No one's put a jet at all. I'd better not be going for sauce, I'd be fuming. Right, get off my racing line, please. 
That's how we do it. Oops. Oh, no! No, no, no! What the fuck? Come on! Really, really, the car lost its grip, oh, and that's me done in this race. Right, points are out the fucking window now. That is absolutely retarded. Why did the car do that? I got past him beautifully on the start finish straight. It bounced off the fucking curb, man. Fuck's sake. <sighs> Another fuck up in Baku. Points were so easily on the cards. Blasting through every fucking cunt. Of the pitting again now. Another. Oh my god, this is just going to be insane fucking dry. And the, uh, points are gone. Obviously, as fucking usual in Baku. Can't sustain this wing damage. Lucky if I hit my fucking team goal here, let alone the fucking points. Points are literally 25 seconds up the road. That This was the advantage I needed. I would have been flying. But now it is all over. Look, mercifully, Stroll hasn't pitted. Crank it down, not. I mean, actually, you know, rich and medium. There you go. So we carry on. We're going to be chasing all these guys. These fucking slow cunts again. But I'm not on the medium tires. Comes out in front of me, signs in front of him. Oh, we race the line of stint. Okay, stay clear of the white line on the exit. We'll receive a penalty for dangerous driving if you cross over into the track. Fuck me, I am going to be flying. Twenty seconds up to the Ferrari. Target is probably. I'll try and get P10, no promises. Oh, safety car will be absolutely magical right now. Risky move on the outside here. We're going to try it. Hang on the outside. Ricardo, there's not enough room. Really? I think I can get past, mate. I'm about 17 seconds a lot quicker than this absolute fucking koala licking cunt. Get me out of the way. It's best to kill me. It's best to absolutely kill me. Fuck you. We're going through. I don't care. Come on. Next position, please. That is Russell. Again, for the third time, the fourth time this fucking race. Oh dear, have I damaged Ricardo or is he just generally that fucking shit? <laughs> We are monumentally quicker than these guys. I need to clear them. I need to keep it clean. Like, no wing damage. Oh, Ross has got Giovinazzi. Great. Just when he had another battle in front of me. It's been thrilling racing in fairness. Don't get me wrong, but I prefer to be at the front with Stroll and Stappen and Battle right now. Oh, no. No, no. And this is just sums up my Azerbaijan experience in this game. <sighs> Don't take my ring off, please. No, it's um, despairing right now. I'll, I'll be brutally honest with you. I'm fucking despairing. Oh, I'm so happy he's in the pits. So only 50 f a minute in front of me. Of course not going to get a fucking podium in this race, are we? Keep it cool. Let's see if I can get... By, just get P16 and fuck off. <laughs> That's all I can really do here. So much fucking quicker than every car on the track. Barring the Macca. Barring the Macca. 
it in a seven. I could absolutely obliterate that lap. Right, my target beat the Ferraris. They are about a whole sector and a half in front of me. I've got 12 and a half laps to go. Come on. The most embarrassing Grand Prix of my life. With the car I've got, it's, it's brilliant. It's just me. I've been driving like a fucking retard tonight. <sighs> fucking joke. Waste of an evening, completely. But I'm still happy to bring you the content, guys, so I'll try my best all the way through. It's all my own fault as well, but just not paying attention to what I'm doing. If I was off stream, I'll tell you what, I'd be winning every single fucking goddamn race, but I got I want to bring this. I want to bring in the entertainment and the fact that I can't drive for shit. Basically, I can't drive for shit on stream. This season has been a bit of a turnaround, but Baku is still my bogey track for five seasons without a point. There's only Monaco, I think, that has actually still have that accolade. Oh, of course, Japan after I got rammed off by fucking Lucas Weber. I don't forget, son. I don't forget. Toros are running in P16 at the moment. P15. He's going to clear the back markers and just finish the race. I guess it's all I can really do. A safety car would be perfect because I'll be able to absolutely obliterate the field. I'm going to get my clean race bonus. That's going to be a plus point. Get myself another little upgrade there. I don't want a DNF. I want to try and go for the whole season without a DNF. Well, that can fuck off. That fast up is mine. Oh, I've got the ice as well. This is going to be mince meat. Cardo, get off the racing line, please. Thank you. <laughs> Clear fast up from it as well. He says three fastest laps out of the four, I guess. That's one thing. <laughs> of course, by being out of the top ten, that doesn't count as an extra point, but I guess it's more of a pride than anything. Let's see if I want to basically get Carlos Sainz and work on the Ferraris. We'll work on the Toro Rosso before the end of the race. See if I'm pulling P15 here. Dreadful Grand Prix for me. Absolutely fucking dreadful. But, you know, it is what it is. We can't win them all, unfortunately. The win streak is over. Didn't make four. I knew Baku would be an absolute cunt, especially starting from last. But went through a couple of audacious moves. Wasn't paying attention a couple of times. And there goes my wing. So, love to finish it, though. I've not finished it for a couple of seasons now. Or I'm rage quitting and just being shafted. Rear tyres are going to be struggling before the end here. But do you have a Nazi just in front of me? Let's go into overtake mode and see if I can get him on straight. Oh, that'll be easy. Might be able to get signed as well if I'm lucky. I'm assuming the Toro Rosso has a problem. See you, Gio. What's the bane of my life this race? And my career mode, really. There you go. Uh, see you George. Come on, get the fuck out of the way. Come on. Thank you. Thank you. And now, chase down signs. Signs just took off royally. A safety car would save my fucking bacon here. And I'd be chucking them soft tyres on quicker than you could say chucking them soft tyres on. So it's 4.9, we're just going to work on the car in front, if I can get him before the end I can, if not we'll take on to the next race, Spain. Leaving George completely behind, but I was expecting that, we need to get up to our roster before the end. Uh, points are absolutely out of the question.
Okay. I hate this truck, guys. I really, really fucking hate this truck. I, I don't know what it is with me. I can't drive it. Lance is fucking struggling as well. The team is just falling to pieces in Baku. See if we can get P19 then. No penalty, just three fucking stupid pit stops. Fucking awful. Fucking hate this truck. Fucking simulating next season, I tell you. Waste of time, man. Waste of a fucking evening. Fucking Perez on the same straight as me, man. Come on. He's put 20 seconds on him last race. Oh, bring me to Spain now and we'll kick your cunt through. Memes the fucking hards, man, all the fucking way. My glasses are stained as well. Just get me out of this fucking Grand Prix. There's no way you can simulate it, unfortunately, once you start it. Not retiring because I want my points, but you know I've got well, I've got a perfect race in there so far. I've had a warning, so <laughs> going to the end. I now don't care about my way. I'm just going to see if I can catch Ricardo, beat him, and then that's it. Really, eleven point six. Trying to keep positive, but it's really, really, really fucking hard when I'm being fucked over every opportunity. Car's not turning when I want it to. Feels absolutely god awful. We'll be getting 400 points, but look at this, man. Fucking dreadful compared to everyone else. Probably put an extra click on the temperature as well, but that is what it is, I guess. Ricardo's gap is going to disappear. Hopefully, one of the top six retire. I don't really need them to, but it's just really happy if they do, because it'll save me later in the season. I was hoping for points. To save me... I am not to score on Monaco and Singapore. So... Fucking hell. Well, I think this lap may be slightly destructive. Seven point nine. what can I do about him in this lap? 7.9 seconds. If I get a penalty, I'm going to be retiring the car, by the way. I'm saving I was gonna retire to save the components, but I don't know. Pride more than anything, and the McLarens are gonna dominate the constructors after this as well. But luckily Perez is there winning the race. That's what we need to happen. I can't afford that McLaren to win when I get no points. Because we have Monaco. Canon and France should be an absolute doddle. I know exactly what I can do around them tracks. 5.9, I've only bit two seconds on him. In one sector on Ricardo, that's expected anyway. I'm up eight seconds up quicker than him on the hards. Baku is a track that just makes me rage. I, I don't know what it is. I can't drive the track at all. I've got one points finish in my eSIM career, and that was in Division 2 RF1 when Scotty picked me on the line for second place. It's the only other time I think I've ever scored in this division. Did I score in season two? I can't remember. I can't, season three, I can't remember. Fuck me. I have put six seconds of Ricardo in this lap. This lap time is going to be absolutely brutal. It was quickest anyway, but jeez, Louise. I think I'll give me 37. Oh, well, why not? What? Fuck yourself, I'm going to the end. Double fast as that, fuck you. Uh, is it what, 14 and 2 laps? Yeah, that's fine. Get to the end. Tires aren't overheating, so we're fine, we're going to keep going. Okay. Now let's see if I can beat Sainz. My target once again is Sainz, and it is a realistic target. I don't overtake here. Let's back off. Let him do what he wants. Right? Okay. We'll wait for the end of the castle. He's going to hit that curb. 
Hold me the fuck up, which is obvious. Um, this guy is just going to make mince me of him. Th four seconds lap quicker than through this sector. The outside of him here. No, he's blocked that off very nicely. Ricardo blocks it off. It puts me in the wall. Damage to your wing. Damage to your wing. Are you alright? Engine off. Engine off. Yeah, he could fucking drive. There goes 400 fucking RNG points. Shove me into the wall. I know where to go. Fucking ridiculous. On to Spain. And all my points. Lead is gone because of stupid cunts who can't drive. The Fuck the Perez winning. Very happy with today's performance and the final result. And Bob, both my cars are Excellent driving and excellent teamwork. Fucking serious. Have a look then at the driver's stand. Destined not to win a championship. But really? Really? It didn't give me the fast. Fuck off. Who the fuck? Pick as your driver of the day. Well, after a drive like that, it's got to be Devon Butler, hasn't it? Confident. Fuck off, you fucking stupid jeppo. Fuck off, you cunt. Oh, what a waste of an evening, guys. Um, oh, fucking hell. Back for Spain tomorrow. Woo! Can't wait for that. Woo! More bullshit. Well, things didn't really go your way today. Oh, so just I suck my cock. You dirty fucking laden slut hussy. <sighs> that crash looked pretty serious. Well, thanks anyway. Guys, I'm gonna end it here. Um, I'll update you if the R&D passes tomorrow. All the best. Pause out.